What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we do got some stuff to talk about as per usual about the market how to prepare you guys for new content and yeah man as per usual please make sure to drop that sub drop that like let's get 120 likes on this video to do some empty giveaways on twitter if you don't know my twitter it's down below in the description and also man before we get into the video let's run this ad if you're looking to buy a stacked nba 2k account with max badges and more visit sportstmb.com he has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And guys, we got a lot of stuff to talk about today. Possibly they're dropping content. I do have work today, so they do have content. We're going to have a market video after. But yeah, we're going to pretty much just go over a little things that you guys should do to get your MT up and how to prepare for new content coming. So if you guys do not know, two weeks ago, they did drop the buzzer beater content. Now, the buzzer beater content was actually pretty solid. It involved a curry. It involved a couple things. Um, what was it? A curry, the Chris Webber, and the Drazen Petrovic. And now, if you guys do know, I feel like another buzzer beater set is coming. I don't know. I have a really, really big feeling that another buzzer beater set is coming. I don't know. I just feel like, why would they release a buzzer beater set and not continue with it? Um, first off, the buzzer beater set, honestly, had curry, had Webber, Drazen Petrovic, and Paul Pierce. All usable cards, in my opinion. And some things that I did notice with this set, when these cards were really cheap, they actually skyrocketed a lot. Like Petrovic is at 30k base at a point. He's now 50 something K. So if they drew do drop another buzzer beater, there's gonna be a mini market crash. Cause they, the market did crash when this curry dropped. Like this was a really big card when it dropped. People were hyped to see it. So if there's buzzer beater two, which they did drop two weeks ago on a Tuesday, I think they're gonna do it bi-weekly. So I feel like a buzzer beater is coming tomorrow, coming Tuesday, possibly Friday market update, token market update, something new. We, we can see more flash. Maybe a, we're going to see a prime this week. I think a token market update and buzzer beater. That's what I think is going to come. Hopefully it does. So how to prepare, how to make MT during all this stuff. So if you haven't already, I would recommend selling your cards because honestly, I did it. That's why I have a lot of MT. I do have some cards to sell besides your Opals, unless you have Tracy or D Rose or Curry, because those cards are expensive. I wouldn't sell Curry Lenko. I wouldn't sell Vince Carter. I wouldn't sell MJ unless you want to. Glitch LeBron, if you really want, you could sell him. He's really expensive. Pretty much any card you could go ahead and sell. If you don't have MT, if you don't have MT, it's all good. You could you could chill. You could watch this video and relax. Because then again, there's gonna be a little market crash. So I'm probably dropping this early for you guys. It is pre-recorded. I think buzzer beaters are coming. If buzzer beaters come, market crash happens, snipe filters are popping. So if you did not check out my snipe filter video, go check that out. It's pretty much just all those snipe filters I showed you in that video are going to help you out during a possible market crash coming. So now, if the market crash does come and you didn't listen to me and you didn't sell your cards, what you got to do, you got to get at least 50,000 MT together and you got to start sniping. This video is pretty much to pre prepare you guys. All I know is that if you have like certain opals and you don't really have buyout players you're gonna kind of take an l because this video is dropping at 10:45. they're probably gonna drop content around here so since this is dropping a little early i might drop it at like 10 a little bit before if they do drop content usually the packs come out around 11 so if you do have buyout cards i would recommend putting them up right when you see this video especially if you turn on those noti bells you're gonna be really happy because you're gonna make a lot of mt this way so we got the new content possibly coming tomorrow. With that being said, like I said, man, I told you to sell your cards sun, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. If you listen to me, you're going to dub out because anything that drops, man. Like I was saying, bro, Weber was around 80,000, 90,000 MT. He's around 120K. Um, pretty much, man, if you listen to me and you have your MT racked up, ready to roll, you're going to make a lot of MT. I'm expecting a huge market crash either this week or next week with March Madness coming. March Madness is around the corner. When March Madness comes, one of the biggest market crashes in 2K always happens. So when that happens, man, it's crazy. 
March Madness is one of the best 2K promos ever. I'm expecting an Opal Zion. I'm expecting Opal, at least two Opals. <coughs> what does that mean? If you did not sell your cards, like I'm honestly thinking about selling LeBron, Giannis. I'm thinking about selling all of them because March Madness is something interesting. It's where Opals go to under 100K. So right now, man, if you haven't been sniping Opals, if you haven't been trying, I would definitely recommend. If you don't have your MT up, <coughs> And you have no time, bro. You could hit up my sponsor. Or you could just literally listen to my videos and help you make MT. But you just always got to have MT there. Once, literally, the best way to make MT, the best method is literally, it's so easy. It's what I do. Why do I have so much MT? It's simple, bro. You buy when the market is low and you sell a day or two later. It doesn't take long. Literally, it doesn't take long. It takes you, I would say, if you really have no time to play this game, and you played since day one. It literally takes you 10 minutes to get your players and, and wait a couple days and then sell them again. So it's not long. It's not a long process. And you cannot be impatient. It's pretty much whenever I tell you guys to sell, you just got to listen. So this is literally all I'm going to say. If you're like a new sub, this is what I do. I make a lot of these market videos for you guys. And I pretty much just tell you. Um, markets crashed. I literally say. I pretty much make a video specifically saying on what cards you should buy and what cards you shouldn't. Like right now, I'm just going to tell you flat out, do not buy a team, do not buy anything you see because these prices are fraudulent. This is like buying a stock at its extremely high price that isn't worth it. It's like literally buying a penny stock for the price of $1,000. It's just not worth it. You got to wait till the market's low. Once the market's low, it usually happens when really good content comes out. Like for instance, before the flash packs drop, um, they said Giannis was coming out. So everyone sold their team prior. And yeah, market crash happened before the packs even came out. And then Friday came and the market rose like crazy because everyone pulled packs for that Giannis. So now, depending on the content, stuff like this can happen. If they drop no trailer and they end up dropping content, it's a surprise. Market crash is hard. So you pretty much just got to play it simple. If there is a market crash, I always do tell you guys. I always prepare you guys. When there is a market crash, also... If um, it does crash, it's pretty much simple. All you really got to do, if you don't have a lot of MT to invest in, is just simply sitting on Amethyst filters and Diamond filters, considering they do have the most touch in the market. Like, most car, most people, like me, like, say people with my MT have Amethyst cards, like, sitting in their collection. Uh, like, they're not going to sit there all day. They're not going to sit there all day posting them for their actual price, looking up the prices. They're going to just throw them up for, like, 1000 2000 just trying to get their MT up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, literally, this filter is probably one of my favorite filters for... If you want to switch towards Diamond Amethyst, that's fine, too. Really doesn't matter. But, yeah, I just missed the Giannis for 550 on this Diamond filter. He goes for, like, 20. But, uh, yeah, man, this filter right here, Diamond and Amethyst, when the market does crash, is probably one of the best filters in the game. I definitely recommend it. It's straight money. So good. And this is one of the best fillers I have. And like I said, man, make sure to sell your cards if you're watching this video. If no content drops, man, we're probably not going to get content till either Wednesday or Thursday. Honestly, I have a feeling they're going to do something with Prime. I see Prime coming. I also see the buzzer beater coming. So honestly, I don't know what's coming. That's a snipe. There we go. So he's got a little snipe. I don't think he's that much money. We're actually about to find out his price. But yeah, as you can see, this snipe filter right here is really good. I don't know if it goes for that much, though. All right, so I got a snipe. He's at least a thousand made, maybe two thousand made. So that's a huge dub. Lillard. Okay, so what do I get him for? Thirty something hundred. He's selling for seventy seven hundred. I'm gonna make about two thousand MT real, real quick. So as you guys can see, that snipe brother is really good. Got the Brian Reese. Brian Reese goes for around two K. I also got a shack in my other video. This is all in about a one minute span. So one minute span, I'm gonna make about five thousand MT. One to two minute span, five thousand MT. Bing, bang, boom. Now, this is also while the market is super slow. So as you guys can see, man, these MT methods are solid. This night builder, solid. You just got to be patient sometimes when the market is crashed. And also another tip for you guys, when the market's crash and like, let's say a new diamond car comes out, I would so hit up that snipe filter. I missed a, the big Z. He's going for, around, I got, a, I missed a snipe when he was 2K for around, um, not when he was 40K for 2000 MT. He was on one of my videos. The new diamond cards always get put up for snipes. So if you guys see a new diamond card or out of this card pop up tomorrow, get ready to snipe him because that's the fastest way to make MT. Those cards are insane. But yeah, it's really all I got for the video. I hope you guys do stay prepared. 
Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Peace.